Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to one more video series in your life technical course on your channel, My Crypto Pad. And today is going to be a very important discussion because today we are actually going to start technical analysis. And today we are going to understand the use of trendline tool and how to draw diagonal support and resistance. Like I said in my last video, guys, if you have not seen the last video, watch that first because that will teach you how to mark important uh, SR zones or the swing low and swing high zones in your chart. And then you come here and try to understand that uh, how to put uh, diagonal trend lines and establish a support and resistance from there okay so moving on today's uh, point of discussion you can see use of trend line tool how to mark exact points so I will show you that how you can use the magnet tool to your perfection what are the shortcuts and what is the uh, accurate way to draw a trend line because I see a lot of people draw trend lines in different way and believe me little bit difference in your drawing can uh, affect a lot to your trading portfolio so we'll see exactly how you should do it and then we'll see how to draw support and how to draw resistance on a chart. Okay, so let's uh, having said that, let's dive in to the BTC chart. You can see we are on the BTC USDT chart. And uh, before we start, as everyone knows, this is the trend line tool over here. And if you go to uh, this button over here and press uh, keyboard shortcuts, you can see that all the shortcuts will come over here. And if you go to indicator and drawings, you will see everything over here. So today we are going to use this button over here which is called Alt-T or the trend line over here, okay? So I will suggest you use this uh, keyboard shortcut in the beginning when you are doing your technical analysis because it is, it is easy to get used to uh, this and uh, after that, once you're used to this, then it will be quite uh, easy to figure out uh, what to do, okay? So uh, before we start, guys, uh, this if you remember, uh, let me just tell you, beside the trend line tool, there is a star which is add to favorites. If you click this one, it will get added to this bar over here. Okay, you can see that as I'm clicking it and unclicking it, it is getting added and uh, getting removed. Okay, so this is how you put it on the star and it will be over here. This is quite accessible so that you don't have to go every time over there. You can just use this over here. And the second most important thing which I want to tell you today is this magnet tool over here. Okay, so what is the work of the magnet tool? Let me explain you. If I click a ray over here. And if I go near the price action, you will see the magnet is going to pull me towards that price action and it is going to exactly mark it for me. Okay. If I zoom in and I'm going here, you can see that it is pulling my cursor. Okay. I'm not taking it anywhere. It is auto pulling it and all I need to do is click. Okay. You will see it will mark it for you. But if you do it yourself with this not turned and you are some somewhere over here and you mark it somewhere like this, you can see that you are not exact over here. Okay. So use this and use the stay with the stay in drawing mode tool over here. So select both and then select the array over here and you can see how fast you can mark uh, support and resistances. So fast you see if I stay in drawing mode, I don't need to click it again and again. And you can see in a matter of one second, I have marked so many support and resistance on my chart. Yeah, so that is the way you need to do. This will improve and save a lot of time. And you can see that in matter of no time, my chart is full of lines. Okay, so use the magnet tool and stay in drawing board tool. So this was the tip of the day. And then now let's uh, move in to see that uh, how to mark uh, trend lines actually. Okay. Okay, guys. So you can see that we are on the one day chart. Always uh, do a habit of starting with the monthly chart over here. Okay. Now there is a color coding pattern that we follow normally that everyone follows. What you can do is mark the color coding pattern for yourself, okay? And then you can use that color coding pattern. What I mean is uh, if it's a monthly chart, okay? If it's a monthly chart that you're looking at, then whatever trend lines you mark on the chart should be of a certain color, okay? Let's say it is yellow, yeah? If it is a weekly chart, then all the trend lines that you mark on the chart should be white, okay? And if it is a daily chart, then all the lines that you mark on it will be blue. Okay, so on and so forth. So today what we'll do is we'll use this three lines. So monthly will be yellow. And uh, I hope that this is clear to you. Or uh, just give me a minute, I can uh, improve this for you. So you can see that uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, put everything over here so that it is uh, clear, clear for you. Okay, you can draw such drawings also in your trading view drawing and you can uh, mark it and keep it for your future. So you can see uh, weekly I have written uh, yellow. Eh, sorry, monthly I have written uh, yellow. Okay, this is the pattern I follow. So I will just explain you in the same pattern. Uh, weekly I have marked uh, white. 
because it is easy to understand w is white and daily you can put blue yeah so now it is all written and it is set up and now you can go ahead and put it in one corner sorry put it in one corner over here and keep it and then you can follow it continuously okay so as you can see that we are on the monthly line and on the monthly there are various ways of doing trend line guys but uh, if you are using Heikineshi, it's a different story but let's just start with normal candles today okay so i will give you a basic explanation of this i will not go in details okay just the basics of it so i can click this favorite button over here or i can just press alt t it will give me the same result over here and then you can see the the way to do trend line guys can differ from person to person and several people have different ways of doing trend line okay so the first way is wick to wick okay either you can take this wick and this wick and join this two wick over here and go ahead from here this is one way or what you can do is take the candle body over here and candle body over here and join this two and draw a line that is one more way okay there are several possible ways if you are a candle to candle person then i will suggest double click switch off the wick over here so this way you will see you will not see wicks anymore in the chart okay either you can join the corner of the candle to corner of one more candle and just extend it this is one way okay or what you can do is join the middle of the candle to the middle of the other candle and expand it different ways okay however you do what i normally do is i do it wick to wick so i normally like to uh, select my wick over here and then you can see that i just join this wick and this wick and i leave it like this okay if you want to extend the trend line guys just go to settings over here and go to style you can see that when i press extend left this is going to the left side when i press extend right this is going to the right side when i select the middle line it is giving me the middle line now i can hold the middle line and move the trend line directly if you just click the trend line and move it it will go like this okay but if you click the middle line and hold it then it can easily go okay and then a uh, few other settings which are not so important one is price labels that means trend line top to trend line bottom will be reflected in the price labels over here i always keep it off price range meaning the trend line that you have drawn it will show you the price range how many bar patterns have changed and what is the date range for it okay and what is the distance now distance uh, and price range are important things to note but you know you can use it a lot for your uh, price prediction angle as well i use all this for my macro price predictions but i will one day i will explain you what i do but if you don't want all this just press always show start so it will uh, remain on this but if you do not want any of this just go ahead and unclick them okay now because this is on the monthly time frame we are going to mark this yellow like we discussed you can increase the opacity and decrease the opacity using this okay but you see if you increase the opacity over here the trend line becomes very dominant and your chart your trend line will look quite prominent so what i like to normally do is i like to put my opacity at 33% this way you can see it is in the background and uh, price action is your focus over here not the trend line this is one way of doing it okay so once you have done your uh, settings over here what you need to do is go here templates click and then save drawing template okay and you can write it monthly trend line and save it okay now what you can do is you can just go ahead and mark all the monthly lines over here which is going to give you some important level of uh, support and resistance because diagonals guys you can draw from high to low and extend it okay but you see that this price line and this price line is far away from the current price action okay your job as a trader is to find the immediate uh, support and resistance okay if you are day trading intraday trading or you are swing trading you need to come as close as possible to the price action okay so you can see that if i mark this line over here it is coming somewhat closer to the price action so this will be a valid line okay and this line is not valid now you can see it was valid before but you can keep it on your chart or you can choose to hide it by using the object tree uh, like i showed you before okay and then you can see if i draw this support line it is too far from the current price action okay so what i can do is i can try to get as near as possible so i will draw I will join this and this line 
and then I am coming nearer to the price action. Okay, so I don't need this line. I just need these three lines. Okay, and if let's say you are opening a chart and there is some different color on your trend line like this, and by mistakely you have done this, and you want to click it to monthly, so just click, go to templates and select your monthly trend lines. It will select the design on its own. Okay, you don't have to do anything. And then one of the important feature is if you cannot remember colors, either you have color blindness or you have some problem in uh, remembering colors, or you don't want to see colors on your chart at all because some people do that. What you can do is go to the trend line text over here, click the text, and write uh, monthly line over here. Okay, now you see that your monthly line is showing over here quite nicely. Now you can choose the location of this line wherever you want. You can put it in the center. So it will come and show you over here. You can put it on the left side. You can put it on the right side. Okay. You can put it on the top of the line, bottom of the line, or middle of the line, wherever you want. Okay. But you see that now this, this line, which is over here on this chart is going to tell you that whenever price is going to come back in this zone, I am going to get some support from this line. 16,472, I am going to get support from this line because this is a monthly trend line, okay? As we go lower in the time frames, the strength of the trend line reduces, okay? As we go higher in the time frame, the strength of the trend line increases, yeah? So next, uh, next we can go to the weekly time frame, guys, and then you can go ahead and mark the weekly time frames. Like I said, come as close as possible to the price action over here. So click this and come as close as possible. You can see this is a little bit far. This is the nearest over here. Okay. So like I said, weekly will be white. So I will mark this white and I will mark this white. Okay. And the one which is nearest to the price action, I will write there weekly. Yeah. So now I know when I open my chart, which is the weekly support and which is the monthly support and that will help me take a trading decision. Okay, guys. So if I'm looking to draw a resistance, I will try to find a trend line on top. And if I am trying to find a support, I will try to find a trend line in the bottom. Okay. So it is not always mandatory to draw from here to here and then extend. Okay. You can join lows and you can join highs as well. Yeah. So let's say this is a high and this is a low and you can join both of them. But you see that on the daily time frame, there is no need to do this because you have already drawn it on the weekly. Okay, as you can see that when you come on the daily time frame, this trend line looks a little bit shifted. Do not shift the trend line because this is coming from weekly. So it will have a slightly different variation. Okay, that is important to keep in mind. Yeah. Now, what you can do is you can use a high over here and you can use a low or this low and drop a line. So whenever price comes here, it might get some support. You can join this line and this line and extend. So when price comes over here, it can get some support or you can join this line and this line and just extend it. Okay. So whichever is closer to price action, you can choose to increase the opacity of it so that when price comes to the to it, to it and then you can enter an immediate trade over here. You can see that uh, this line is meeting closely about uh, 17,449 and this will give a lower low on the price action and we can expect some movement from there. Okay, so this is on the weekly chart. Then you can go to the daily chart. On the daily chart, you will see your price action will show you a little more details. And then you can start marking things over here. Let me just uh, reduce the opacity of this. And like I said, you can save the template also over here as uh, weekly. Uh, okay. And then on the daily time frame, like I said, this will be blue. So go ahead and mark important points on the daily time frame, which you feel that is necessary. Okay. So you can join this two and mark over here and just put it as blue. Increase the opacity a little bit more because blue is a little bit uh, not visible. Yeah. And then you can mark it as daily. Okay. <coughs> so you can see on one chart, you have now daily weekly and monthly and now suddenly it becomes so clear no so you can see on daily time frame i can join this i can join this line and extend and you can see that wherever price action is now it will get some nice support from this trend line over here and because it is blue you know that it is blue or you can go and just 
put the text over here don't put it on the right side because it is now near the price action so you can bring it to the center so that when you open a chart you can see that a daily trend line is coming across like this and you can get some nice reaction over here okay now there are several ways of doing this guys you can do forex also over here to the price line and then you will see this will look better in your chart but what it will do is it will worsen the uh, price points for you okay so i will suggest always be on one one point when i share my charts i sometimes make it 2x 3x so that you can see it better okay now you see that uh, when we draw so many trend lines it becomes uh, the chart looks so dirty you know so that is why i say use the object tree and then only keep uh, lines which are important to you not all okay but this trend line you can change it to a different you can make it dashed like this or you can make it dotted like this okay what i normally do is i like to keep dotted lines on my chart as they look more neat and clean so what i will do is let's say this is one uh, weekly line so i will, let's say this is the weekly line what i will do is i'll go ahead and make it uh, uh, dotted over here and then i will save drawing template as uh, weekly again click weekly save replace yes and then whichever is the weekly i will just go and replace it like this okay as you can see all my charts now come to the same design over here and now you see it is less visible okay the similar thing with daily as well okay so this is the way you need to make charts guys i hope this is all uh, clear to you and uh, you can see the lines quite clearly now and uh, yeah as close as in when you draw a trend line make it as close as possible to the price action and then wait for price to come to that point and see a reaction okay you can see this that just by doing this you have made a zone over here where you can see if the price comes it will get a very good reaction from okay so use this as your line and uh, it is quite simple and they work beautifully over here you can see that last bull run this was the line i was looking at over here and this was the first confirmation that we are going to move to the upside okay once this line got cleared yeah in the last video if you remember i removed the log chart over here and i showed you that i am currently looking at this line and if this line breaks then we might start a good test to the upside again okay so yeah that's about it guys in the next session we will learn how to draw horizontal support and resistance and today was about uh, vertical and uh, today was about diagonal support and resistance i hope this video has helped you do like the content and don't uh, forget to subscribe the channel take care everyone bye bye